right here is the pot of gold at the end of Calc 2. Indeed. English and uh, the diplomathon. What's, what's next? She's huh? going to Apple oh, World. No. Apple World? What is that, a food-filled theme park? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a clip I ought to check out. Ah, uh, it's the uh, big apple to you, madman. We're cutting out of town for a couple days. New York, that's so cool. That's your old haunt. Have you been back there since you hit the burbs? Uh, no, I haven't been back since... Excuse me. Not for a while. Well, and if we're, we're going to use them. Adam, I'm in the middle of something yes, right I'm now. Yes, I'm aware of that. May I come in, please? I don't think that's a good I idea. I have a gift for Scott. Please. Thank you. Well, the cream of the class of 97. Your Uncle Adam. Congratulations, Scott. I couldn't be more proud. Uh, Adam was driving by and happened to see the lights. Unfortunately, he can't stay long. A semester of college before you marched with your high school class. I've always known you were in the fast track, son. <laughs> here, here. Use it well. Uh, thanks a lot. Well, come on. Aren't you going to open it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you found the uh, ceremony was all you'd hoped for. Well, they called my name. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, this is really nice, Uncle Adam. Mm, uh, is, is it hip? Nice. Uh, the latest expression of cool, yes. Yeah, you're sure. <laughs> if he's not, I'm more than happy to trade that for my back issues of Zap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's more. Uh, look in the uh, the pouch, the front pouch there. Uh, later. Okay. I assure you, it's in exquisite taste. Okay. Let's see. From the Chandler's best wishes to Laura. For me? Well, he called your name. <laughs> you really didn't have to get me anything. Oh, I love I love buying gifts for beautiful young women. At my age, the opportunities are rare. Oh, come now, Adam, with two daughters and a wife who's young enough to be one. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I hope you like it. It's incredible. Oh, oh. oh stay there. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Thanks. Um, why don't you help her uh, put it on? Oh, yeah. I thought, um, with your hair, the color. Yeah. Um... Yeah, emerald's my favorite. <laughs> good, good. My instincts were correct. Here you go. Thanks, honey. Oh, thank you. So, what's the game plan? I beg your pardon? An emerald pendant? That's overkill even for you, Adam. What were you hoping to accomplish? To express warm wishes, Your perhaps? esteem and your admiration? You called my daughter a thief. That was months ago. Oh, I see you've seen the light. And what has happened to change your mind? Well, life is full of revelations. Some people you trust let you down. Revise Some people old strategies. <laughs> How are you holding up? In Pierce's absence. What do you want from me? What do I want from you? What a question. Brooke, I have no agenda whatsoever. <laughs> Then what possessed you to buy Laura a gift, and a lavish gift at that? Could it, could it have been a simple act of kindness? <laughs> I've seen these moves before. The last time, it was because you wanted my undying affection. So what is it this time? Brooke, you're my dearest friend. Adam, you don't have any friends. A romantic disappointment has made you rather cruel, hasn't it? Oh, maybe. But certainly not to 17-year-olds, which is more than I can say for you. You have humiliated my daughter more than once, and then you walk in here bearing a gift. How naive do you think I am? Is there no way to make amends? What is your objective, Adam? You're going through a very stressful time right now, Brooke. Do I look stressed? No, no, you look beautiful. You look magnificent. Forget it, Adam. Brooke. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. You do me wrong. But don't worry. I forgive you. Oh, wow. I love it. 
remind you of anything? Yeah, like the the country and the woods, outdoorsy. The cabin. Remember how cold it was? Yeah. We used to snuggle up in blankets to keep warm. Pierce used to build a fire, and you'd give him that look that said, you better watch your every move, buddy, or you're toast. Oh, please, I was so obnoxious. And you were just scared. And surly. Well, you know what they say, when in doubt, act tough. I don't know how you put up with me. Oh, sweetheart. I knew that behind that feisty exterior, you had a great heart. Thank you. <laughs> You've come a long way, Laura. Oh, <laughs> well, Scott, what have you got planned for New York, huh? Are you going sightseeing, or are you going to the theater, or having a, a mini cruise around Manhattan? <laughs> uh, whatever Laura wants. But uh, has she said anything to you? She doesn't. She doesn't seem very excited. I mean, well, you know, Dan, a, a lot's been going on. Graduation, and you know. Yeah, but nothing more than that. Nothing. Nothing's been bothering her. Talk to Laura. I'm expected back at holidays. I love sky Is there something I ought to know? Oh, I just think Laura's a little queasy about going to New York. You know, dredging up old memories and... Oh, no. He, he wouldn't take her within miles of that terrible place for, for her mother burned to death. Square? Well, it's a great hotel. Besides, the affiliate's footing the bill. And, and it's business. It's, you've, you've got business, and I really shouldn't be tagging along Laura, on a business all I trip. have to do is drop off a couple of tapes. We will have plenty of time to do what we want. We can, we can take a carriage ride, stroll through Soho, maybe check out some galleries. And I have to show you this little bistro that my father just loves. And we'll spend all day and night together. Is that the problem? You don't want to stay overnight with me? No, no, Scott, that's not it at all. Then what's the matter? Talk no, to nothing. me. Nothing. Just drop it, okay? <sighs> you any idea what's going on? Oh, I don't know. I just... I had this feeling that something very bad happened in New York. Oh, Johnny, we know something bad happened. Well, I, I don't mean the fire. I, I, I think it's something that Laura will not say. Yeah. What do we do? I don't know. Find out what she's hiding somehow, because it's the only way I know to help her. <laughs> 